breaking news in the Minecraft community. The Minecraft 1.20 update is complete. And today we enter the pre-release stages. Rumor has it on social media, 1.20 has a release date. Also Minecraft Java players, that is a red sign. That's not good news. If you have a Minecraft Java account, this is going to be important for you. On the official change log for Minecraft 1.20 pre-release one, this is what it says. It is now time for the first pre-release for Minecraft 1.20, the Trails and Tales update. From now on, you should mostly see bugs being fixed. In addition to that, pre-releases don't follow the regular snapshot cadence of releasing on Wednesdays. So keep an eye out for the next pre-release. It could be a Monday, it could be a Friday, it could be a weekend. Although this is a pre-release, we do have some changes. It is a quality of life change. It says, colored wool, carpets, and beds can now be dyed to any other color, and this is a bedrock parity. The video you see on screen right now was taken in the version 1.19.4. You'll notice that if I put a bed and die in a crafting table, it does not change the color of the bed. Same with carpets and also the same with wool. That has changed in this version. So another quality of life feature makes its way from Minecraft Bedrock to Java Edition. We'll grab some beds, some carpets and some wools. And you can instantly change these inside of a crafting table. So if you had an orange bed and you wanted to turn it blue, you can now do that. If you had purple carpets and you wanted to change it to orange, you can do that. Again, a really cool quality of life feature that honestly should have been added quite some time ago. But it's available in 1.20. Minecraft 1.20 pre-release 1 does come with some technical changes. Let's read the change log. If you are interested in the technical side of Minecraft, the technical changes consist of damage type changes along with updated loot table random sequences. The link is down below. We are going to see a lot of these and that is bug fixes. We have 30 in total. Let's read the change log. Here are all the bugs that have been fixed in Minecraft 1.20 pre-release 1. Like I said, a total of 30. If you're still experiencing issues, make sure you report them. And that is it for Minecraft 1.20 pre-release 1. But don't go anywhere just yet because this is very important for Minecraft Java players. The official Minecraft Twitter account posted this yesterday saying still have a Mojang account. The deadline to migrate is coming in September and they released an article. And if you haven't done this, you could actually lose your account. I will leave a link down below to this article, but it says last call to migrate Mojang accounts. Hurry, the move ends on September 19th, 2023. Since 2001, millions of Java Edition players have switched over their old accounts to Microsoft accounts. We're happy to say that so many of you are already enjoying benefits like a single account for all Minecraft games, two-factor authentication, improved player safety, and a bunch more information. Of course, you do get the Migrator Cape. It says, however, the move wasn't meant to last and the migration period is now coming to a close, which will be on the 19th of September 2023. Unmigrated Mojang accounts will not be able to sign in to Minecraft.net or the Minecraft launcher to migrate. We are doing this to ensure that everyone is playing using accounts with improved security and player safety. In addition, starting on the 5th of September 2023, Two weeks prior to the end of migration, support will no longer be able to assist in any MSA migration related tickets. If you are reading this and still haven't switched to a Microsoft account yet, make sure you migrate before the deadline to keep your account. Access Minecraft Bedrock Edition for Windows and claim your free cape. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that actually sounds like anyone who doesn't migrate their account could actually lose their Minecraft profile. Which means when this does happen in September, thousands if not millions of accounts will be wiped from the database and tons of names will be available. So if you haven't done it already, make sure you do because you could lose your name and your Minecraft account. If we go to name MC and we click on capes, this is the migrator cape, the one you get for migrating your account. 
this number down here is 3.6 million. Now, that's how many people are currently using the Migrator Cape. We know Minecraft has millions and millions of players, a lot more than 3.6 million. So that's a little bit of a concern and probably the reason why developers have extended this date just a little bit. If we compare the release of Minecraft Java Edition 1.19 pre-release 1, that released on May 18th, 2022. Now, if we just look at my calendar right here, you can see, well, we've been given the pre-release today, which is the 10th. So we've actually gained that week back. I can't tell you where I found this information. You'll probably find it yourself across social media. However, reports from several people are saying that the official release of the 1.20 update is in fact going to be this date right here. However, if we're lucky, it could be Tuesday the 30th of May. So I said the 13th in my previous video, but it looks like it's going to be one of these two dates. Hey, you can now book me on Cameo. Link is down below.